Should we feed our children or shall we spend £205 billion on a genocide button? Should we commit funds to the NHS and social care or build a whole new generation of nuclear weapons capable of murdering millions of innocent people? Quite rightly, there are international laws banning landmines and chemical and biological weapons, but nuclear weapons remain legal. Several countries in the United Nations have worked hard to put that right, and this is about to change. On the 22nd of January, a new international law comes into force, the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons. One problem, the Tory government has said it will never sign. We have a plan to challenge this, and groups across the country are working with CND to make that happen. Wild opinion on nuclear weapons is changing. There are clear signs that in Britain, more people are finding the prospect of nuclear arms repellent. But the government has committed to spend £205 billion to upgrade Trident. They're prioritising the development of a genocide button over tackling poverty and ill health. We're now launching the Nuclear Bans Communities Initiative in London, asking local councils, faith groups, political parties and community organisations to join the campaign to make Britain nuclear weapons free. I'm Emma Denkhode, former MP and a councillor in Kensington, Chelsea, one of the richest places in Britain with some of the poorest people in the country. The Grenfell Tower fire happened at the end of my road. Believe me, I know all about the poor spending priorities. I'm leading the London campaign and will be approaching mayors, politicians, faith leaders, people in the arts and entertainment and asking you to take the pledge. London CND has produced a campaign toolkit explaining this initiative, including letters, statements and motions you can use in your groups and communities. Let's make London a nuclear ban community, starting with you.